Through a grant from the Dana Home Foundation, Supportive Living Inc. in Lexington produced an exhibit called Talking with Pictures, a photo voice project combining texts and photographs to show a different perspective on the world. So my name is Laura Lorenz and I am Director of Research and Education for Supportive Living Inc. and the Supportive Living Inc. Brain Injury Wellness Center here in Lexington at the Douglas House. And Photo Voice is a project where we are looking at community integration of older adults here in Lexington who are using cameras to take photographs of their lives and experience and write captions for their photos, creating an exhibit to help create awareness of some of the strengths in Lexington for elders with disabilities and also the challenges uh, um, related to community integration for this population. My name is Sean Grady. Um, I am an older adult. <laughs> I'm actually in my mid-50s. Um, I suffered a I was diagnosed with a brain tumor in 2008 and then had two surgeries to have it removed and that's how I got my acquired brain injury. Now I'm, I'm finally gotten to the point where I'm somewhat comfortable with where I am and am looking at what I can do as Laura said this project was designed to do which is give back. Photo Voice is a participatory research method that allows participants to become co-researchers looking at a particular issue. People use cameras to take photographs of their perspective on this topic, uh, discuss their photos together in a group, write captions for ones that they want to share more widely, and create uh, an exhibit and outreach product. All of the participants were residents of the Douglas House in Lexington. The Douglas House is a long-term uh, group home for people with severe, moderate brain injuries. And it's really quite a wonderful place where people get to share their experiences, get to share their lives, and get to support each other. I hope that uh, people get to see that there are people that are different than them in town. I hope that it has a long-lasting effect, not just for older adults with brain injuries, and not just for people with brain injuries, but people with all types of limitations, regardless of their age. And that when people open their eyes and their hearts, to a greater spectrum of the community, they will also be richer for that. Later in March, Talking With Pictures will be presented at the Brain Injury Association of Massachusetts annual conference, and Supportive Living Inc. hopes to have more projects in this style in the future. For Lex Media, this is John Clark reporting.